I'd like to say before beginning that I want to join party with Sharon Kramer <laughs> and her expression of harvest time. I'm a, retired, I'm a retired professor for the last 10 years. I'm here to talk to you about Binghamton University's Lyceum. And I'd like to say by way of introduction that the two years just passed have been the most important and meaningful professional experiences I've had. So, uh, realizing a comprehensive vision for Lyceum, good afternoon. The subject of my talk is Binghamton University's Lyceum. Lyceum is an institute for student-centered learning for people over 50. Our Lyceum, let's see if we start this. Our Lyceum is a mature organization. We have 560 members. We, have, we offer over 100 courses and 135 courses and events. Last year, we celebrated our 30th anniversary. 30 years old and still growing. I'd also like to, I'd also like to um, convey to you, very briefly, my personal relationship to the organization. Throughout the last decade since my retirement, I have devoted myself to Lyceum, first as a volunteer presenter, and then for the last seven years as a member of Lyceum's executive board, where I acquired a broad understanding of our mission, especially during this last two years, 2017 to 2019, when I have twice been elected president of the organization. I have been able to develop a comprehensive vision of what Lyceum was, is, and might be. This paper is the sum total of that vision. Good. My vision for Lyceum is that our prime purpose is not to create a comfortable environment for retirees, nor even one that presents a stimulating background or s series of ideas. Rather, the purpose of Lyceum is to e enhance our connections to the larger world, serve others, and lend purpose to our lives. Many lifelong institutes for student-centered learning, that's what they're called all over the country, not necessarily lyceums. They function as relatively isolated outposts, um, if they're especially if they're uh, university affili affiliated. My lyceum colleagues and I believe that our lyceum is a dynamic organization located at the crucial intersection between Binghamton University and the regional community we serve. Lyceum is fortunate in having the support of the institutional leadership of Binghamton University and also in being able to draw upon many faculty members and administrators who teach for us. Part of this bond building is creating, or has been, the creating of a Binghamton University teacher research lecture delivered annually. My wife and I have supported that innovation. A second thing that we have done is uh, to create bridge-building relationships with our doctoral students that help those just beginning their teaching careers uh, address audiences of mature age, we'll call it that. Um, this year we awarded three such 
teaching um, awards, and we, they enjoy, they enjoy the students that they teach, and we, elder people, love their enthusiasm and their disciplinary expertise. Oops. Okay, well, yes. Um, we want to strengthen the bonds with the community. BU President Harvey Stenger has an initiative, and you just heard about it, to revitalize the southern tier of New York by locating several professional schools in neglected areas of the triple cities. The School of Pharmacy is one of them. So in late February 2018, 2018 I invited him to convey his message to a receptive community audience filled with Lyceum members. Over 100 people heard him present, and, they, and he found his message receiving warm support. The experience taught me that we in Lyceum, with our high number of retired teachers, lawyers, engineers, and community leaders, many of whom are women, are ourselves a leadership organization that can help to revitalize our area. Our own productive relationship with local organizations is e evident in, in many places, and I'm just going to name two. Um, the Tri-Cities Opera, we, s we support that local uh, organization, and we provide members with discounted access to these rather expensive, otherwise expensive events. Similarly, we partner with Binghamton University's College of Community and Public Affairs and with the Office of the Aging to conduct studies aimed at improving the quality of life for our high needs population, thereby making Binghamton County an age-friendly community. Now we want to go back one. Okay. It's all right, I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead. Uh, finding inspiration from Lyceum's historical roots. Our Lyceum must also look to the living as well as to the vital past to find our way. What kind of educational institution is one anyway if it does not know its own history? This is a challenging question I pose. In order to be an interconnected organization, our Lyceum should contribute to national as well as local issues and debates. The history of the Lyceum movement in the United States illustrates this national vision, which is why I composed a flyer that ties the 30-year history of Binghamton's organization to the national Lyceum movement. Crucially, Lyceums played a vital role in pre-Civil War days, 1838 to 1860, offering a platform where the urgent national issues of the day, including abolition, women's rights, the Mexican-American War, and civil disobedience were addre addressed and debated. These were the glory years of Lyceum. Even Lincoln himself made his first major address um, on the dangers of, de of despotism, and these Lyceum speeches act as a model for us Lyceum can be today what we wish for tomorrow. 